Aston, uh, for anybody who's thinking about headed up to the mountains, uh, maybe they should think again. <laughs> Yeah, at least for today. I do yeah. see some improvements in the forecast by tomorrow, but we still have a winter storm warning in effect until 4 a.m. on Saturday. That's when we'll start to see some of that uh, action tapering off. Uh, there is uh, a look at uh, the winter storm warning in pink, really affecting areas of the Cascade Crest, but also out towards areas of Deschutes County, Central Oregon, seeing some light snowfall too. Again, up to 30 inches of snow total uh, from yesterday through today is what we could be seeing. We're already up to about 15 inches so far. So again, going into the rest of today, likely another foot of snow before we start to taper off uh, that winter precipitation up across the mountains. Again, we'll see impacts all the way into tomorrow morning and uh, some of the drive across our mountain pass is still doable, just a little scary with very gusty winds and those snow showers. As you can see, though, cars are still making the trek across the mountain. So again, it does look doable, but still just a bit scary. Be cautious if you are heading out uh, at this hour. Again, we could see maybe six to 10 more inches of snow over government camp. Uh, the resorts have seen quite a bit of snow over the last uh, one and a half days. I think we've seen close to one and a half feet of snow even just since midnight. Uh, Meadows has reported uh, seven new inches of snow. That is after a foot of snow came yesterday. So a lot up there. You can see just how windy and snowy it is. It's just storming out towards the slopes. So the best day to ski. Well, today Timberline closed down, uh, but Meadows is still running some ski lifts if you are able to ski in this, but tomorrow I do see much better conditions. We'll see those snow showers decreasing and still a bit breezy at times, but skiable and Sunday looks to be the best day this weekend. So get up there, have some fun. This new snow is great to see across our snowpack. It's looking very healthy across the Cascades. Uh, and again, we'll still see snow as we head into our winter time. Winds have been very breezy, 40 mile per hour sustained winds out towards Meadows and gusts up to 70 miles per hour. In Portland, we've been keeping our winds around uh, 18 to 20 miles per hour. Are also very breezy out towards areas of the coast too. Going into tonight, we'll still see some wind gusts here in Portland, maybe up to 20 miles per hour, 30 to 35 out towards the coast, and we'll pair that with rain showers. So a little blustery at times as we head our way into today. You can see those scattered showers continuing to work on in from the northwest. And these are very hit or miss showers, so at once, not everywhere are getting soaked by rainfall. Uh, these showers are very scattered and spotty across the valley. But we're also seeing some heavy showers in and out too. In downtown, you can see a nice patch of showers of heavy rainfall now working on in. So in about 15 minutes, that'll likely continue to shift out towards the east here. We'll dry back up and maybe even get some sun breaks. Uh, so again, a bit of a mixed bag of weather as we head into our afternoon. But we'll keep this pattern in place through tonight. So often on rain showers, even through the evening hours, if you'll be out and around town, maybe getting dinner to go or dining in somewhere, do you grab that rain jacket. We'll still see snow showers through tonight as well. We finally start to taper off the moisture. It starts to work out the door here as we head towards our Saturday morning and by about late morning, lunchtime and the afternoon tomorrow. I'm seeing dry conditions across the valley. Same for the coast. We should see some excellent weather this weekend as again we dry up. Mostly cloudy skies though and even by the uh, later evening hours, a chance we see some drizzle working into the coast. We'll see a quick disturbance trying to bring in some rain, but much of this weekend does look dry. Uh, same goes for areas on Sunday in the valley, but I'm calling it a mainly dry, mainly cloudy weekend. Should see some nice conditions to get outside. There's a view of the coast right now. You can see uh, is a bit gray. We are watching out for some showers out there too. Again, those breezy conditions will cause a high surf. We're also dealing with some high tide, so a high surf warning in through tonight. Temperatures are across the board here in the uh, 40s as we head into our day today. So there's your seven day forecast, low 50s and a little warmer as we head towards Sunday and beyond. We'll be tracking some light showers next week and by Thursday we'll be closing in on maybe 60 degrees. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.